Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first episode of Let's Play Tales of Graces F for the PS3. This game was originally released on the Wii in Japan in 2009, and then a year after in 2010, it was released on the PS3 in Japan, but it wasn't until 2012 when this game was released in North America and Europe. And why am I starting this Let's Play with such information? <laughs> anyway, I am really excited to get started with this game because I really love the Tales of series, but this has to be one of my favorite games in the Tales of series in general, in the Tales of franchise, and I say, um, I say that with a little uncertainty because, you know, I, I still really love Tales of Symphonia and really, I mean, I like the other Tales of games too, but, um, yeah, it really it's between Tales of Symphonia and this game, Tales of Graces F, so, um, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? This is the options menu, and we can just go ahead and make any changes to settings before we start, but I believe that everything is good. We don't want subtitles on for the cutscenes and all of that good stuff, so... Confirm settings. Shall we get started? I believe we shall. Let's do it. Settings can be adjusted at any time in the options menu. Keep that in mind. You will want to keep that in mind. You're really going up there? Of course! Flowers bloom there all year round. Don't you want to see them? Come on, it'll be an adventure! Dad's gonna be really angry if he finds out. How many times has he told us to stay away from Lawn Hill? It's dangerous! You think I believe a word he says? Don't worry, it's fine. And besides, I'm 11 years old. I go where I want. Wait, what about Sharia? Shouldn't we invite her too? No, she can sit this one out. What? Why? She's sick, Hubert. It would be hard on her. Besides, one scaredy cat slowing me down is more than enough. Hey, that's not nice. Anyway, let's go. I want to see what's up there. Lawn Hill. Here we go. Let's get started with this game, and I'm, I'm pretty excited. So, this was actually my first HD Tales of game to own. I mean, there was Tales of Vesperia that came out before this, but, you know, I don't have an Xbox 360, and it's not because I don't like Xbox or Microsoft and all that, it's just because, well, I don't have the money at the moment. I was actually thinking about getting it one Black Friday, but, eh, things didn't really work out my way, so... And either way, there aren't really many games that I would get for the Xbox besides like Halo and Tales of Vesperia, so... But anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about the battle system in Tales of Graces F. So, how to attack. Just press X to approach an enemy and attack. <laughs> After he's done whacking me. Use the left control stick or the left analog stick while attacking to switch up your attacks. Land consecutive hits to create combos. Now, this is a JRPG, and I know that a lot of JRPGs tend to be turn-based and all, but this one, what I really like about this one is that it is in real time, as you can see, clearly. Um, <laughs> but I'm not saying that I don't like turn-based games, I really do. I mean, like I like Final Fantasy and all, but I just really love the, the battle system in this game and just the Tales of series in general. Alright, <laughs> and here are our two main characters, um, Asbel and Hubert Launt. These two brothers. Oh, basic bat uh basic battle tips. <laughs> Press X to approach an enemy and attack. Oh, we already discussed that. I don't know why they have to repeat it, but you can go ahead and view those tips again if you go to the menu, which you can access by pressing triangle. And I believe it's in library. Um let's see, let's see. Switch switch books yep so you can press triangle to switch books and then here you see the basic info game controls the options menu the library menu all that good stuff so but let's just go ahead and continue here what's this skits are short conversations that occur between your party members to view them press select when the skit indicator appears on screen in certain locations if you enjoy viewing skits make sure to walk all over so you can see them all and i think that you guys will want to see most of them if not all of them because 
I'll explain I'm after not this. Really thirsty. This water is famous. Plus, it's really good for you. So come on, have some. You'll like it. W well, all right. L l oh, oh, this is good. Wait, I thought you'd never been to Lant Hill before. Huh, I guess Frederick knew what he was talking about after all. Here, give me some of that. I want to try it. Hey, I'm not your guinea pig. <laughs> Wise little kids just drinking water from a spring that they just found in a place that they've never explored before. <laughs> I'm not sure if I would do that, but yes, anyway, that was a skit, and I really enjoy the skits in this game compared to Tales of Symphonia and Tales of the Abyss and yeah, some of the other Tales of games because they actually have voice acting during the skit. I mean, in Tales of Symphonia, it did have animation and stuff, but it was voiceless, so it was... it. it felt like it was lacking, I guess, so there were times when I actually didn't enjoy viewing the skits. But in this game, it's just so enjoyable to uh, see the character development and to uh, see how the characters interact with each other, especially with voice acting, so I'm not doing such a good job here with the battle, but... Okay, well, we survived that one. You know, we're just kids, so our HP is pretty low. Kids have low HP. Lesson of the day. <laughs> Let's fight another one. Here we go, how to guard. Press tr- <laughs> Triangle what press square to guard against enemy attacks, so let's go ahead and try that Success guarding helps decrease the amount of damage received and prevents the enemy from causing you to stagger and trust me You do not want to be staggered in this game, especially when facing bosses this game can be really challenging so Trust me very challenging But that's what makes it fun, you know close call not really look you're almost at full health Asbel. How is that a close call. Asbel learned Bell Ringer and Hubert learned Tiger Blade. And that's just information being repeated. We already know that stuff. And there is a treasure chest hidden behind this bush. The game designers and developers actually used or took advantage of the camera angles in this game to hide treasure chest and stuff. See, you can't see it like this when it's closed, but when you go to the save point, you can actually see the front of the treasure chest. Saving game data, yeah, you, you find these uh, shining diamond areas in the overworld or in towns or whatever. Or in dungeons, and then I'll actually overwrite this one. Yeah, I don't need this one. I have a lot of saved files in this game just because I love it that much. <laughs> I mean, I, I really only completed the game fully once, but... Um, I was working on my second run through, which which was pretty fun, and I will talk a little more about the game mechanics and all that as we continue on. But for now, here is another scene, so let's watch. There's someone there! It looks like a girl. Hey, you! What do you think you're doing sleeping out here? <gasps> so we find a mysterious girl in the middle of this little meadow. And they are really shocked for some reason, like they've never seen someone taking a nap in a beautiful meadow like this. I heard a voice. You did? I was asleep at one with this place. But then I heard your voice. And I woke up. Why was I awakened? Well, I... Well, you know it's dangerous to sleep out here. If you want to take a nap, maybe you should find a bed or something. Asbel! She's headed right <laughs> for the cliff! <sighs> hey! You fall! What do you think you're doing? Fall? Yeah, fall. Splat. You know what that means, right? 
No, what does it mean? It means... Um, well... <sighs> That's a long way down. If you fell, you'd be in big trouble. See? You get it now? If you fell, you'd... <sighs> oh, never mind. Look, just stay away from the cliff. Understand? So, where do you think she's from? I've never seen her before. Hey, what's your name? All oh, right. That's rude. I should introduce myself first. I'm Asbel Lant. This is my little brother, Hubert. Hi, it's a pleasure to meet you. So, tell us your name. My name? What was it? What was... my name? Hey, don't tell me you forgot your own name. Well then, I know, how about this? Can you at least tell us where you're from? Where I'm from? Seriously? You don't remember that either? Asbel? I wonder if maybe she has amnesia or something. They say that people with amnesia have trouble remembering things. Amnesia, huh? Hey, so you really can't remember anything? Well, you know, Hubert, you may be right. So, so what do we do now? We bring her back to town. What? Are you serious? Can we even do that? Well, what else can we do? We can't just leave her here. And besides, maybe she'll remember something once we get back. Oh, yeah. I suppose that makes sense. Hey. Why don't you come back with us? There's no point standing around here by yourself. Great. We'd better get going then. <laughs> you like flowers? Here. Take one for the road. It's just a flower, you know. You're weird. Well, never mind. Let's go! Plucked flower. A flower picked to prove that we visited the meadow at Launt Hill. Sweet. <laughs> okay, I just... Did you guys enjoy that? I mean, you Tales of fans. You guys know the cutscenes or what the cutscenes look like in Tales of Symphonia, Tales of the Abyss, and Tales of Legendia. So tell me, you can't tell me that that was much more enjoyable than the cutscenes in those games, right? Because just, you can see the full body movement and just the cel-shaded graphics and all, it's, and the HD, the HD! Like I said, I was so excited to pick up this game just to see what a Tales of game would look like in HD. But yeah, the cutscene um, was pretty long, but we, meet, we met a mysterious girl who in our party is just called Unknown Girl. Cool. <laughs> so, um, she's got pretty big pigtails, right? Um, um, what's it called? In the Japanese version of this game, they actually have DLC where... Uh, <laughs> excuse me. They actually have DLC where you can purchase a costume for this mysterious girl, and the costume is actually the outfit of Hatsune Miku, the Vocaloid, and it's it's got everything, like the blue hair, the, the outfit, the... The headphones, it, it, it was really cool, but unfortunately it didn't add that in the North American version, so... It's sad, it's sad, but I don't purchase DLC anyway, so... Alright, let's go ahead and press select and watch this. What were the two of you doing in the meadow, Asbel? I'd heard flowers bloom there year-round, and I wanted to see them. I'm kind of an explorer like that. That's what he likes telling everyone. But he only went there because Dad said not to. What? No! 
this has nothing to do with my father. <laughs> so these three characters that we meet are pretty interesting. Asbel Lant, the main character, is more of the rebellious type, it seems. And Hubert Lant, his brother, um, or stepbrother, it looks like. No, 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 his his brother. Um, wait, uh, no, forget. I'm just I'm just trying to remember the story. But anyway, what I was trying to say, Hubert Lant, as you can see, is more of the cowardly type. Yeah, look at that. Not as brave as as Bell Lant, but he's still. It might not. Makes sense why, but he is actually really my favorite character in this entire game. Okay, here, Titles 101. You can equip one title on a character at a time. After each battle, you'll earn skill points, SP, which are put towards learning the skills associated with that title. These skills remain even when you unquip, unequip the title. So it's a good idea to learn as many titles and learn as many skills as you can. And that whole description pretty much explains why, for me, titles means so much more to me in this game than in Tales Symphonia or Tales of the Abyss just just because um you can really uh, <laughs> sorry I kind of skipped an explanation pretty much what it was saying was that you can dash using the left analog stick so what I was saying was that titles really mean more to me in this game because you can earn different skills by leveling up each title the more that you use it in battle like it said, the more you use a title in battle, the more SP you gain for that title. And then you will level up that title and gain different skills that you can use even when the title is unequipped. Sorry, I hope that was clear, but um, I was just trying to explain that quickly. Alright, quick steps. Hold square and use the control stick, the left one, to quick step, which allows you to quickly dodge in a circular direction around your enemy. You can also quick step by lightly tapping the... Um, left control stick. Quick stepping is an elegant and effective way of dodging and counter-attacking and can even be used in the middle of your own attacks. That's interesting. Aren't you guys getting the gist of this battle system for those of you that haven't played it? It is a lot of fun. Like, I don't know if you guys enjoy watching it, but I really enjoy just playing this game and just immersing myself in the battle system. Okay. Excuse me, wolves. Nice dodge. I earned 4cc for that dodge. And the game will explain what cc is used for later, so... I won't explain too much um, before I end up confusing you guys, because I know that sometimes when I explain things, it is not so clear. It's okay, I understand, I understand that. Okay, so we are going to head back to our hometown of Lantz, but we are running out of time, unfortunately. I would love to spend more time with you guys in this episode, but it looks like it is time for me to go. Thank you for watching this episode, and if you enjoyed it, please go ahead and click like or share. And if you would like to see more of this Let's Play or some of my other gaming videos, please go ahead and feel free to subscribe to my channel, Shadow J Gaming. So, this has been Shadow J. Thank you very much for your time. I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care.